What you're looking at is the official PRS Custom 24 Killer. This is a Kiesel CT6. We get 24 stainless steel frets, two of the most musical humbucker pickups I've ever played, and we get one of the nicest necks I've ever seen or picked up and played ever. Look at that neck, man. It is really, really special. Before we get started, a huge thank you to Kiesel for working with me on this beautiful electric guitar and sending it out to the channel. Man, I'm so blown away by this guitar. I'll talk more about that in just a moment. We're about to get into a brand new jam track and then we'll go over to some isolated tones. I'm also gonna give you a full rundown of what makes this special. Here we go. Let me give you a quick rundown of what makes this guitar special. So one, it's nice and light, thanks to the Swamp Ash body and semi-hollow body design. So we get an f hole on this side. It's nice and well balanced, and it's just one of the most comfortable guitars to play. We get a flame maple top with this translucent white finish, and I love the finish under the gloss here. I think it looks stunning. Another thing that makes this guitar special are the pickups and how they're wired in. So we get two Holdsworth humbucker pickups. We get a five position toggle switch, so in the one position, the first position here, it's bridge pickup in humbucker mode. Position two is bridge pickup in split coil mode, so you're giving you that single coil sound. Position three is both pickups in split coil mode, giving us that sort of Telecaster sound, which is fantastic for a player like myself. As we go into position number four, it's neck pickup in split coil mode, and then neck pickup in humbucker mode all the way on position five. We get a single volume control and a single tone control and forwards is on, much like a Strat for example. So they wired these up correctly, unlike other brands we won't mention. <laughs> Nestled in on the fretboard here, we have our black acrylic dot inlays. We also get our glow in the dark fretboard markers here as well, which is a really great touch. This guitar comes loaded with a 10 inch fretboard radius. And when you pair that with these stainless steel frets, it's extremely playable. On the back of the headstock, we get locking tuners, and these are so reliable. This was basically in tune straight out of the gig bag that's provided with the guitar all the way from California to Australia. Kiesel is still providing the best gig bags I've seen for an electric guitar. It's functional, it's lightweight, it's nice and padded, and I have no complaints when it comes to its design. All right, let's kick it off with some clean humbucker tones. So this will be just neck pickup and just bridge pickup on their own. And I'm plugged into the Fender Vibro Champ Reverb Amplifier. I have it mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and an AEA N22 ribbon microphone. Take a listen to this. <laughs>
As you can hopefully hear, those humbucker tones sound fantastic clean. No questions about it. They have all the top end there without ever getting muddy on the lows. We're going to start on both pickups now in split coil mode and go through each of those split coil options. <laughs> This is where this guitar really starts to shine. Not only do you get musical humbucker tones, but if you want to get those split coil tones, you can. It does drop the volume just a hair when you switch over to those modes, but most guitars will do that. I did find, however, though, just by using a volume boost, I could get it back to matching the humbucker output mode. So if you're ever playing and you don't want your volume to drop whatsoever, you can just run a volume boost anytime you're in those split coil positions. I've just clicked on some gain. Thanks to the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal, we're just gonna be using the left-hand side. And I'm gonna start with my volume control on the guitar down in humbucker mode. I want to show you just how dynamic these pickups are just by using the volume. Now we're gonna try both humbucker positions with a little bit of extra gain, thanks to both channels of the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive. I think these tones sounded pretty awesome. Let us know what you think. <laughs> through why I chose the things that I did with this and how it compares up against other models and brands. So first up, this neck is in the top three of guitars I've ever played. You know, there's a few guitars that really stand out in my mind. A Monteleone, some of the Nick Huber electric guitars, a PRS 10 top, and this. Not to say that they're in any particular order, but those are the guitars that really stand out in terms of its neck, profile, feel, and how it looks. And this is right up there with the best of the best. I think one thing that really separates this from a lot of other options is the stainless steel frets and full 24 fret access up to the edge of the fretboard, which is fantastic. The playability on this is in a league of its own. If you saw my live stream and unboxing video, you might remember that this was in tune out of the box or very, very close. And I credit that to these quality locking tuners and the way the nut is cut. Same with the S6 over here. It just holds tune beautifully. So going for locking tuners was a no-brainer. The neck profile is nice and chunky without being too fat. It very heavily reminds me of the Kiesel S6 over here. So it's just a beautiful guitar to play in the hand. While I shoot videos here in the studio, I also go out and play live. So I had a couple of other requirements. I love the glow-in-the-dark dot markers on my S6. So the CT6 also has it on the top here as well. We also get some of the best and liveliest sounding humbuckers that don't have any mud on the low end. This is one of the things that I absolutely love about the tone of these pickups. And lastly, I wanted a guitar that was nice and light. And this is without question the lightest guitar in my collection. It's even lighter than this, which was one of the lightest guitars I had up until this point. So if you already know the specs and features that you want in a guitar, you can simply use their guitar builder to come up with something as beautiful as this top looks fantastic as well man this is so nice thank you Kiesel I really appreciate it thanks for watching everybody let us know what you think we'll be seeing this a whole lot more catch you soon see ya